Most of Toyota's current EV sales are hybrids powered by a combination of battery-powered and internal combustion engine motors. This includes the Prius, a hybrid that went on sale in Japan in 1997. Toyota Motor fired a new missile in the electric vehicle wars, saying it wants about 40% of its sales to come from all battery models by 2030. Toyota said it plans to expand to around 70 electrified models globally by 2025, with an eye on carbon neutrality by 2050. The company said it has put more than 20 million electrified models on the road and will spend over $70 billion on EVs, with the target to launch 3.5 million battery electric vehicles globally in 2030. But will it be enough to compete with the EV manufacturer Tesla, that sits at roughly five times the market cap of Toyota at $1.01 trillion? Let's dig deeper and discuss what Toyota has planned for its electrifying future. The epic fight over who controls the future of the car industry is about to get a whole lot more interesting. Tesla, the pioneer and pace setter, has dominated the early rounds of the new energy age, capturing investors' imaginations with a vision for what the next generation of vehicles looks like and seizing the Nashit market for fully electric cars. Toyota Motor Corp wants the world to know it's serious about competing in the market for battery-based electric vehicles. Despite being one of the pioneers of hybrid models, Toyota has been relatively slow in its push toward battery-only electric vehicles compared to some of its global competitors like General Motors and Ford. Toyota has released details about its first mass-produced electric vehicle is a significant step for the world's second biggest car maker. The BZ4X is an SUV with optional rooftop solar panels that will be sold in both front-wheel or all-wheel drive variants. Using a BEV-specific platform, the BZ4X combines a long wheelbase with a short overhang. This results both in a distinctive design and an interior space comparable to a D-segment sedan. The public had its first look at the concept for the BZ4X, BZ stands for Beyond Zero, at the Shanghai Motor Show in April this year. But Toyota only published the details of the car on Friday. The announcement is a step forward for Toyota, which has been slower to move into purely battery-powered electric vehicles than its competitors, relying heavily on hybrid technology instead. While the car isn't Toyota's first electrified vehicle, that title was held by the short-lived RAV4 EV. It marks the first electric vehicle that will directly compete with industry rivals such as the Hyundai Ioniq and the Tesla Model Y. Toyota has already produced the second-generation Mirai, an electrified vehicle powered by a hydrogen fuel cell. The BZ4X will be launched in Europe on 2 December, with orders to be placed by reservation. It is expected the model will enter series production from the middle of next year across all regions worldwide, though the precise timing, price, and variants available have yet to be released. Toyota expects this will form an extended range of 70 electrified vehicles by 2025. Subaru helped develop the vehicle and is expected to reveal its own EV model next year. It is anticipated the BZX4 will be available for sale by late 2022. As one of the most popular car brands, it is expected the model will help Toyota take a dominant position in the growing electric vehicle market globally, as its competitors have been put off by a lack of clear political leadership in making the transition. Hybrid vehicles accounted for nearly a third of Toyota's total sales this year. The BZ4X will be the first of 15 planned zero-emissions vehicles offered by Toyota, including seven BZ models. The front-wheel drive version comes with a 150 kilowatt motor with 265 newton meters of torque that is capable of 0 to 100 km an hour in 8.4 seconds. The all-wheel drive model comes equipped with two 80 kilowatt motors that produce a combined 160 kilowatt and 336 newton meters of torque, capable of 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in 7.7 seconds. Both variants will have a top speed of 160 kilometers an hour and will come with a 71.4 kilowatt hour battery, offering a range of roughly 500 kilometers. Toyota says the 150 kilowatt DC charger will allow the batteries to be recharged to 80% in 30 minutes. Solar panels can be built into the roof for use while driving or when parked. Toyota says these panels will add an extra 1,800 kilometers of driving distance each year, while allowing the car to be charged when parked or where there are no charging stations easily available. At 4.69 meters long, 1.65 meter high, and 1.86 meters wide, the BZ4X will be similar in size to the Hyundai Ioniq. While the company has not yet released complete details of the interior, one of the more unique aspects is the steer-by-wire system, which works without any direct mechanical link between the steering wheel and the tires. 
The technology is similar to the fly-by-wire system used by modern jet aircraft and means the driver will only receive feedback from the road as they will not feel the vibrations from the tires via the steering wheel. This aircraft feel is extended with the option for a yoke steering wheel similar to the Tesla Model S. Toyota says its version will deliver better performance with 150 degrees of the lock so the driver will not have to change hand positions when turning. Toyota has already rolled out its first mass-produced battery electric car in Japan for lease only, a strategy that automakers say will help ease driver concerns about battery life and resale value, but has raised analysts' eyebrows. Gasoline electric hybrid models remain far more popular in Toyota's home market than electric vehicles, which accounted for just 1% of the passenger cars sold in Japan last year, according to industry data. Still, the market is growing fast and foreign automakers, including Tesla Inc., are making visible inroads on the streets of cities such as Tokyo. Bundling insurance, repair costs, and a battery warranty into the deal, Toyota will lease the BZ4X Sport Utility vehicles at the equivalent of $39,000 for the first four years. Canceling in the first 48 months will mean an additional fee. While EV acceptance has been slow in Japan, that will change, and Toyota could risk losing market share by focusing on a model of leasing rather than purchasing, says CLSA analyst Christopher Richter. Toyota said in December it would commit 8 trillion yen, or $62 billion, to electrify its cars by 2030. Toyota aims to lease 5,000 of the SUVs in the current financial year around the same amount of EVs that analysts estimate Tesla sold in Japan last year. The automaker plans to start selling the BZ4X in other markets later this year, and pre-orders have already started in some European countries. EVs became popular in Europe through lease programs offered by employers, and Toyota may be trying a similar tack to popularize electric cars, said Seiji Sugihara, a senior analyst at Tokai Tokyo Research Institute. First-time customers are concerned about battery life and the potential fall in the trade-in value over time, said Shinya Kotera, president of KINTO, the Toyota unit offering the leases. It's our role to dispel anxiety toward EVs, he said. Imports of battery EVs jumped almost three times to a record 8,610 vehicles in 2021, according to industry data. Analysts estimate roughly 60% of those were Teslas. Still, Japanese automakers remain cautious about switching into the all-electric lane. Toyota pioneered the hybrid more than two decades ago and retains big ambitions for both hybrids and hydrogen-powered vehicles, even as it is investing more to boost its battery EV lineup. After a year of standout growth, in which Tesla became far and away from the most valuable automaker ever, the trillion-dollar question is whether Musk's advantages heading into the next generation of car making are as insurmountable as his company's market capitalization suggests. When one of the biggest car companies in the world, Toyota, decides to go all in on electric, then there's no longer a question of speculation. The mainstream is going electric. The shift to electricity is going to be faster than everyone expects.